I wonder what do you do and what would you recommend people to do in terms of relaxing their body uh, before they have an important presentation to do? Sure. So I'm not sure whether you know this. Um, before my session at the uh, present, to, pres present to Succeed conference, uh, I was actually walking or walking around. Uh, and uh, so, you know, a lot of times that my clients will be telling me, oh, Cynthia, you know, in my mind, I'm not nervous, but my, my palms are wet. I said, of course, you, your mind thinks it's not nervous, but, but the body is telling you the truth. So uh, when John was speaking, the speaker before me, uh, when John was speaking, very funny. In my mind, I did feel, oh, I'm very calm. My mind was actually empty. But my body was already telling me I am nervous. So then, of course, as a professional, what do we do? I'm not going to sit there and then wait. Uh, you have to get the body move to uh, walk, walk off those uh, nervousness energy. So what I did was actually I uh, took off my shoes uh, with a little bit of heels. So I took off the shoes and I was walking uh, behind, uh, behind the audience. And I was just slowly walking, uh, walk off the uh, nervousness. And of course, with proper breathing. So, uh, but because proper breathing is a habit for me, so that's not something that I need to worry about. But I was walking slowly uh, and make sure that I was standing behind the audience. And then about 10 minutes before my session, so I slowly walked from the side to the stage. Even there, I was standing. So I wasn't sitting. I was standing and then also still shoes off to make sure that I'm still uh, managing the energy, uh, managing the nervousness energy. Uh, that's what I did. And also the other thing is, uh, because when people are nervous, a lot of times they may, they may have articulation issues, they may start to mumble. Uh, so one thing that you can do is to uh, move your articulators. If you have the tendency to often uh, slur on words when you're nervous, then you want to move your articulators to make sure that you don't, do, you don't have that problem when you're nervous, uh, especially the very first few sentences of your uh, speech, you want to be very familiar. Uh, so uh, some exercises you can do is just uh, Open up your mouth, like uh, make the ah sound, uh, and then stretch it, uh, and then forward. I say that e u ah. So that's uh, what I did, which is uh, walk off the energy, make sure I stood. The other thing, the other thing was that I was uh, in my mind, I was uh, reciting my uh, opening. Uh, so my opening three lines, so that. Uh, even though it has never happened. Uh, but uh, when you're nervous, you started to wonder if you, you will remember what you're going to say. Uh, so <laughs> that's what I did. In my mind, I was thinking, okay, this is my opening. Uh, make sure that I'm just going to say it. Uh, so that was what I did uh, before that speech. And then, of yeah, course, when say, I stood on the just speech. To say, yeah. Just to say to everybody listening, she rocked the stage. She, I, I, <laughs> I saw the presentation. She went there. She owned the stage. And I, I even mentioned to you afterwards, hey, Cynthia, you own the stage. You were so yes. confident. Everybody was listening. People were not looking at their phones. So apparently it worked. Yes. So and that's why you see that beforehand, whatever happened, people do not know. But those small things that I did made sure that when I did stand on the stage, that everything is just flowing. And, and by the way, I love that you say you emphasize on the first few sentences of your speech because many people, be, you know, they might do a corporate presentation or a speech. It's always the first few sentences because once you, you get there, you start talking, you get out of your head and you get into your yes. body, right? And then, and then things start floating. But the first few sentences are really important to get you. Maybe the audience laughs a little bit or... Yes. They smile or they, they start listening. And then you and if you remember, over. yes. And if you remember, you know, in the my opening was actually something that was uh, spontaneous uh, because 
I commented something that John said about banana. <laughs> so my original opening was later, but because John just finished and the banana thing was so funny, so I had to mention. Actually, in my mind, <laughs> what I was thinking about. Okay, I'm going to say the banana. <laughs> that was my opening, which is good because there's a technique.、Uh, if you know,、uh, on humor, it's about callback. Right, so you call back about what the other speaker said, and add on and relate to what you're going to say. Uh, so uh, that was actually was what I was reciting in my mind was about a banana. <laughs> I need to make a comment about a banana, man. <laughs>